Hello everyone, it's Ryan Liberty. In this video, I'm going to answer the question, what are adjustment disorders? Let's find out. Ah. Alright, here we are and we're ready to go over what are adjustment disorders. But before I get to that, there is one thing that I need to say, that this is not the diagnostic criteria for what adjustment disorders are. So it should not be used to diagnose anybody. This is just a quick little description to give you an idea of what's going on when we talk about adjustment disorders. And also, if this label of adjustment disorders in any way causes you stress, if it doesn't aid in the healing of you or the healing of a loved one, if it's something that bothers you, you don't have to use the label. It's really just a pointer towards a set of behaviors or a set of symptoms that you may be experiencing. So with that out of the way, I'm going to get to what are adjustment disorders. I've got my notes, as always, down here to make sure I'm giving you good information. I don't always have to memorize myself. Um, but here we go. Adjustment disorders. So they are emotional or behavioral symptoms that happen within three months of an identifiable, identifiable stressor. So anything that's um, a big stress in your life and you can identify, you know, I started feeling these things or I started behaving this way around this stressor, that would qualify as a, a possibility to look into adjustment disorders. Let's get into what the rest is though. So it has to be clinically significant um, that one or both of these things is true, that the stress is out of proportion to the stressor. Um, or that you have an impairment in your everyday life as a result of what's going on. So either one of those two or both is perfectly fine. Um, it has to not meet the criteria for any other mental disorder. It's not normal bereavement. So if you've had a loss, it's not that normal uh, bereavement we all go through. And once the stressor has ended, the symptoms do not go on for another six months after that. So that's kind of how you know, okay, that was adjustment disorder that we went through. Um, it's basically just going through a hard time in your life. It's a very simple way of looking at it. But uh, again, there's more here. So let's look into it. So you specify when you when somebody makes a diagnosis of adjustment disorders, you have to specify exactly what we're talking about. So these are the specifiers with depressed mood, which means that you have a low mood, um, you're tearful or sad, you feel hopelessness. Um, with anxiety would be nervousness, jitteriness, uh, maybe separation anxiety. With mixed anxiety and depressed mood, so a combination of the two of those. With disturbance of conduct, so the way that you um, behave, basically. So, or with mixed disturbance of emotion and conduct, so all of those things wrapped in together or unspecified if it doesn't really fit into one of those in particular but adjustment disorder feels like the right fit. Um, something that should be noted there's a diagnosis which is not official yet but it's uh, something that's been considered and is called persistent complex bereavement disorder also known as PCBD. Um, so that's also a possible set of symptoms that might fall under adjustment disorders. Now, the great news about this is that there is treatment. Um, you can go to psychotherapy and somebody can put together a plan for you. Or uh, medication can also be used to manage some of those symptoms of anxiety or depression that you might be feeling. So what does it feel like to have an adjustment disorder? Well, that's going to change depending on the way that it's manifesting, whether with anxiety or depression. But because it is a trauma and stressor disorder, you may feel a lot of the same symptoms that you would feel under trauma. I have a video for trauma if you want to look that up, but I'll give you some quick ideas right here of what it might look like for you. So in the body, you might feel like racing heart. You may feel maybe a little bit numb. You may feel fatigue. You could have an exaggerated startle response, trouble sleeping, all kinds of things. For the way that you're thinking, you may have trouble concentrating. Again, those racing thoughts. Um, you may start to think like, well, what just happened? I'm a bad person. I can't trust anybody. Um, emotionally, you may feel a little suspicious, trapped, fear, powerlessness, anguish, grief, sadness, um, depersonalization or derealization, guilt, embarrassment, all kinds of different things. Uh, and behaviorally, you're probably going to act a little bit out of proportion to what's going on in the present moment because you're stressed. Um, you may dissociate, you may avoid things, um, you may have a sense of denial, 
Um, you may get into grandiose entitlements to try to overcome what you're feeling, hypervigilance, all kinds of different things um, can happen as a result of an adjustment disorder. So if you feel like this is something that you're going through, the best idea would be to go see a professional and talk it out with them and uh, they can come up with some kind of plan to get you understanding exactly what's going on and to get you in a healthy, happy place. So thank you for taking the time to learn about adjustment disorders. I'm happy to hear anything that you have to say. So leave a comment below if you feel like this was a good description or you're not sure what's going on, I'd love to hear. So thanks again and I'll see you around. Hey, it's Ryan Liberty. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up, share with a friend, and leave any questions or comments down below because that would really help me out. If you're somebody who's gone through a traumatic event and you're feeling cut off from the people around you, I have a free course that will help with that, so please click to get it. And if you'd like to see the rest of my videos, please click subscribe. As always, I want to remind you that your life matters. Nobody can question your worth. However it is that you're feeling, whatever it is that you're going through, it's okay, and you are loved. Thanks again for watching.